on five kilometres outside Kathmandu, Nepal, not far from the international airport, and I've come to see a sacred Hindu temple. That there is a body, someone's grandma or grandfather being cremated by the side of this river. How does it make you feel? And should or shouldn't it be a tourist attraction? This is what I'm going to look at in this episode. I'm here at the Pashupathanath uh, temple. Uh, only the Hindus can go in. It's just out, outside of Kathmandu. And here it's the Bagmati River. Uh, it's a holy river. Even up at the end, uh, we see the Sadhu, the holy man, doing his laundry up there. He's washing. Uh, and it's considered uh, special to be cremated there. So in the west, we are having some sesquation of death, some uh, hiding of death in, uh, in culture where we, uh, death is quite institutionalized, but here it's in your face and it's even in your nose. Um, you can smell the, the burning body and the burning uh, wood. Um, and the family are there and then they'll bring the bodies back to nature um, and to be reincarnated later. So this is uh, Bagmadi River. Pashupati literally means Lord of Animals and it's one of the most holy sites uh, for Hindus. The temple there is the two-tiered golden roofed pagoda and it's the one that's not allowed uh, for non-Hindus to go inside. But the whole complex is, uh, you know, is quite large. The river and some other stupas backing onto the cityscape. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and legend has it that a cow broke away, kept escaping from its herd and offering milk to the linga of uh, Shiva and that's on that point and that's where the temple has been built ever since. Well it's quite an occasion, many many uh, family members, presumably relatives and friends uh, have come to witness the cremation. Uh, down by the river. Here the body, they're saying the blessings over the body and they put the, the yellow flowers, the marigold, over, uh, draped over the body. And the family members coming down uh, and saying some prayers, what maybe washing in the river. Some people might think that this shouldn't be a tourist attraction, that we shouldn't be looking at other, other, other people's deaths. So in the West, uh, how would we like it if uh, maybe someone grabbed a camera and came to our grandmother's funeral and started videotaping it? Well, we would think in the West that was strange, but it seems to be, that, you know, it's a lot more public, obviously, being outside. Uh, you could even see the body there, the legs were, were sticking out. So, is it unethical is to come and uh, watch uh, a cremation out in the open uh, as tourists? Um, we're certainly charged uh, a thousand uh, rupees, so what, 10, 10 US dollars. In, in that respect, the site itself, the temple itself, is, is uh, commodifying uh, this production. The fact that it is uh, so different to the West uh, makes it fascinating for tourists. So I can see the appeal. I can also understand how people might see it as, uh, as sort of unethical, as uh, disrespectful to, uh, uh, to the families. <laughs> Here's another cremation taking place a bit further down the river. So I was told that uh, down the river there were more commoners or lower caste and up, up the river there were more uh, dignitaries. But the, they've only just started to light the body now. I understand that the flame uh, starts off in the mouth. So what's your view? Is it appropriate that tourists should come and watch cremations like this? or? Should we respect the privacy of the family and friends? 